show I'm going to be doing some painting today. We're going to be painting a couple uh, muzzle brakes today and uh, these are muzzle brakes for an AR-15 and we're going to be uh, prepping them, sandblasting them and to get the right adhesion. We're going to be using Cerakote and uh, Duracoat's good too but Cerakote's a little bit more durable and uh, we're going to be sandblasting it first for the prep and then we're going to be baking it afterwards and um, so we're going to start the process here real soon all right we're going to be sandblasting them now and i'm um, wearing gloves so once i pull them out of there i'm not going to be touching with my hands it might contaminate the the product so you get a better result if you don't touch them with your hands. We're done. Here's the end product. So we're going to be ready for paint. All right, we're going to be uh, spraying outside today, and uh, we're going to be blowing them off. And Sandblasting does off of it. Okay. Now we're going to be mixing uh, their coat armor black, and um, we're going to have the, our hardener for it. And it's got to be precise. Depends what kind of finish you want. If you want flat or semi-gloss so or satin finish it all depends how much hardener some people I've seen some videos people say it doesn't matter just but it does matter okay we have to shake it the paint Stirring it up, sure you do a good job of stirring it up.
going to be spraying them in. important to get every edge so you don't have any bare metal. And I like to give it a little extra coverage because it's a muzzle brake. Some things might hit something with the gun. Make sure there's enough coverage on there. There they are. Spraying uh, uh, respirator is good to use. Mine didn't work as well when it sits on the table, so <laughs> maybe next time I'll remember to put it on. <laughs> All right, now we're going to be putting them in the oven so we can bake it. And uh, we're going to set it up for 300 degrees. for an hour and it's got different settings I'll paint uh, optic like a uh, EOTech or a uh, scope usually 150 or lower degrees bake an optic but for part any metal usually 300 degrees or 250 for two hours alright they're done now let's get them out Here they are. Get them, get them off of here. There it is. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good. Okay, well. These are available on TDS guns. Interested? Right, you guys, thanks and uh, leave a comment if you want to watch any new videos.